What's up guys, it's Brian here from Lake Hicker Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part two of our series of reviewing the SSI React Write program. In part one, we talked about primary assessments and secondary assessments and how to really size up the scene before you attempt to render aid. Now in part two of this series, we're actually going to look at what's called CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And this is basically where you're going to be pumping on someone's chest, trying to get that blood flow and to get that oxygenated blood throughout the vital organs to help them liken their chance of survival. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. Now there's several different reasons you may have to perform CPR on a patient, whether it's an infant, child, or an adult. But in short, maybe their heart has stopped due to a heart attack, or maybe they've had some type of blockage in their airway and they've actually stopped breathing. And once we've determined that, the very first step, of course, is calling 911. We need to get emergency services in route as quickly as possible. Now the care that you're gonna give is basically called basic life support, but that can be amplified by advanced life support techniques, which emergency care services will provide once they're on scene, but if you don't call them, they're never gonna get there to actually help you out. Now that we got emergency services en route, we can actually start performing CPR. Now there are several different techniques that you can use based off the patient's age and size, so you need to determine is this an infant, a child, or adult. An infant, of course, is anyone that's under the age of one. A child is typically from age one to age 12, and then of course an adult is age 13 and up. Now size can dictate otherwise. You may have a 10-year-old or 11-year-old the same size as say a 16 or a 17 or even an 18-year-old. So you're really gonna base it off their age and their size as well. Now once you determine is this an infant, child, or adult, you can also make sure that you use the proper technique. Now with an infant, we're typically just going to use two thumbs. With a child, you can use one hand. And of course, with a, an adult, you're going to use both hands. Now positioning is very important. You need to be directly over this patient and you also want to be directly above the heart. Now we typically say directly under the armpits and the center line of the body. That is going to be a great starting point for c performing CPR. And basically, when you perform a compression, you need to be pushing down approximately two inches and you want to allow that chest plenty enough recoil before you start the the next compression. So as you push down, allow that chest to recoil and you're gonna push down again. Now typically it helps me to count. Back in the day when we do 30 to two, that was basically 30 compressions to two breaths, I would actually count out loud. One, two, three, four, five, all the way until I got to the 30th compression and then I would perform two rescue breaths. Nowadays we don't actually do rescue breaths unless you have a face shield, a pocket mask, or even say a BVM, a bag valve mask. And if you're the only one, you may still need to do that 30 to 2. But if you're not the only one, then you can constantly do compressions at a rate of 120 beats per minute. Now your SSI React Right instructor is gonna show you several other life-saving techniques, whether it's say initially assessing that patient, starting CPR. He's even gonna talk about when you need to stop performing CPR, whether the scene has come unsafe or whether you've just basically wore yourself down and you can't continue the rescue and procedures. Now there is a third option there. Of course, once advanced life support get on scene, they either will ask you to continue or more than likely they'll ask you to step aside and let them take over. There are better advanced techniques that they can use that we as the layperson can't basically in the field. And we need to step aside and let somebody who's more trained actually take over to help bring this patient back. So guys, that's going to be it for part two in our series of the SSI React Right program. We really hope that it properly prepares you, say, for your final exam. And if you got any questions on this, simply drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can and as quickly as I can as well. But definitely stay tuned for part three. That's where we're going to be looking at the AEDs or the automated external defibrillators. We're going to show you just how easy they are to use and where you can actually locate one as well, whether you're at, say, your local gas station, your local grocery store, your local church, or even a school. But guys, that's going to do it for part two. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.